What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you my favorite free plugin that I use for motion blur. I'm going to show you some examples in real estate video tours that I've done where I speed ramp through the door, speed ramp from room to room. It gives you a really smooth, awesome, natural looking motion blur effect. This is a free plugin that I got from Ryan Nagel. If you go on his YouTube channel and you type in motion blur, you're going to find that free plugin. I'll show you here as we dive into the computer how to get it into Final Cut Pro and how to apply it to your videos and which one in that motion blur pack that I typically use the most to get that really satisfying motion blur. So let's dive in. All right, so first we're gonna go on to YouTube. Just go ahead and type in Ryan Nangle motion blur. This first video that pops up right here should have it, or you can just go to his channel, type in motion blur. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Right here, he has the motion blur plugin. This is a free plugin, click download for free. It's a title plugin, something to note there. So once you download it in your finder, I've already downloaded it, but I'll show you that it's going to pop up in your download somewhere. You're gonna copy that. You're gonna go to movies, motion templates, titles, and then you wanna paste it in here. So you can see that I have the motion blur folder that I've already downloaded in my titles category. So that's movies, motion templates, titles, and paste that motion blur folder into your titles category. And then you're gonna have six different types of motion blur to choose from. And I'll also note that while you're here, he has a video tutorial on how to install plugins into Final Cut Pro X. So if there's any technical issues you're having, just click on this and I'm sure that he will go through that for you guys. Now you're gonna go into Final Cut Pro. I've just duplicated a project and deleted a bunch of it. Just show you guys a good example with this real estate tour. I usually like to speed ramp through the door and give it some motion blur. So right now we're in a 24p timeline. All all the video clips I take when I'm shooting real estate are in 60 frames per second, so then I will slow them down 40% in this timeline timeline to get a nice smooth slow motion effect so right now these are not slowed down so the first step I'm going to take in Final Cut you can highlight these I'm going to go to automatic speed and you're going to see that's going to reduce these clips to 40 percent I would typically be editing to the music but just for this example I'm just going to show you guys what I would do to create the speed ramp and then add the motion blur to it so basically as I'm approaching the door here what I would do is create a break in the clip where I wanted the speed ramp to start so I'm going to hit shift B on the keyboard and you're going to see that's creating a break in the clip that allows you to speed up this end of the clip. So what I'm going to do, that's fine to end it right there in my opinion. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to speed it up 20 times. So now you can see I've created a speed ramp. These bars allow you to control how smooth you, the start and finish of your speed ramps are. So you can mess with the speed portion or the normal. So now I've got a clip that looks like this, and I'll be sure to render it so it plays out smoothly here in a minute. So now we've got a chopped version, but I wanna go into this second clip, and I'm gonna create another break right about there, and you can see now I can speed up this part just to give it a more natural speed ramp feel, like it's speeding through the door into the room and then slowing back down. So now we have something that looks like this. Now to make that look twice as good in my opinion you're going to go to your titles and once you have your motion blur downloaded and installed into Final Cut Pro you click on this you're going to have six to choose from the one I typically use most is moderate motion blur 2 I think that has the best most natural looking out of all of them for something like this and now I've got the two clips speed ramped I've applied I've dragged and dropped the motion blur over the portion that is sped up and you can see even as I go frame by frame that now there will be motion blur involved like that. So I'll actually stretch this out just a little further. You just have to drag it around to your liking and that should be good. You'll have something that looks like this. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and I'm happy to elaborate or add anything to a video like this to make it easier if there's anything that, that I'm not covering that you would like to see. If this video is helpful, please like the video, consider subscribing for more videos up. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.